Hey everyone, Will here. Uh, picked up this saxophone like three weeks ago. I don't know, I haven't been making much, uh, hardly any videos. I really haven't been finding too much stuff. Uh, this was probably my best find um, of the past month. But uh, picked this up at the flea market. Um, it was... Uh, it's a guy that uh, he bought a storage unit and this was in there and the inside of this case had deteriorated and it must have been in heat for a long time because this this uh, saxophone was black um, it was just covered in this fine black dust uh, which was from uh, the inside of this case so I was looking it over and I wiped it off and I looked and I saw Yamaha so I knew it was good well I ended up getting it for $60 uh, because it just looked so bad now, I saw that you could wipe the wipe the dirt off of it and I uh, got it home and this is a model YTS 26 uh, so prices are all over the place on these things, anywhere from seven hundred to like sixteen hundred. Um, I am far from a uh, expert on musical instruments, but uh, I figure it was worth getting a service. So I cleaned it all off. It took forever, and uh, took it into a. a uh, local guy that uh, works on uh, saxophones and uh, he checked everything out and serviced it and oiled it and um, it's good to go so when I put it in my listing I could put that you know it just been serviced and uh, and that is working good I think I really helped it uh, so I end up getting 1100 for it last night so it was uh, $55 to get it serviced, and I paid $60 for the, uh, for the saxophone. So anytime you can buy some at the flea market and sell it for uh, over, over $1,000, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty rare, hard to do. I've had a pretty good run lately. I had to uh, sold that... Uh, 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 I think it was a Game Warden badge back in December, then I sold a piece of Blinko in January, and now this. Um, so hopefully it'll keep up. Uh, like I said, you got to look at a lot of stuff before you come across a $1,000 item, especially something that you can get for less than 100 But i uh, going to box it up here. Got my friend Joe. Hey, Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe's gonna supervise here. What do you think, Joe? I was able to uh, salvage the uh, case. Yeah, what do you think, Joe? I was able to salvage the case, uh, put it in the, uh, took it outside, squirted it down with a hose, and uh, um, put it in a wash. And uh, it's not falling apart anymore, so. Even though it has a case, I'm going to box it up, wrap it up real well, got some bubble wrap there. And uh, uh, got a box, I went ahead and uh, got the double wall thickness. One thing I do not want to happen is to have this thing wind up with a big dent uh, and cause a problem. This is Joe, you're a talker, aren't you? <laughs> Edge okay. cat. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to but, um, cut the box down. But uh, we'll get it in the mail today. Send it out FedEx. So uh, till next time, it's Will Yard Sales Vivalist and Joe. Uh, we'll talk again soon.